Soviet style hotel. We have decided, however, this is not for us, and we are checking into a more modern hotel soon. Okay, so we have had the most hilarious time at our, how would you say? Our, our communist era hotel, which costs 30 euros a night. I know everyone who's watching this can't believe I'm staying, but hey, I just was in Ethiopia. Little did I know that one of our reunion group is actually a super, super high-end luxury travel agent specializing in ultra high net worth clients. So of course, I'm blaming this on her. We decided to check out of the hotel. Sean, I'm explaining to you why I need to, we needed to change hotel rooms, okay. This is a metal shutter, prison style, on the hotel room. You see, this is my down jacket. I stuck it in the window because I could not close the shutter. And I needed to go to sleep last night, so I actually used my down jacket as a kind of curtain uh, shutter. There, just, just one example. Here is the Soviet style room with a radio panel from the 1950s. Actually, the room is extremely clean. I just think that we're not gonna be that I mean, we need to spend the whole week here and we want to have a nice time and I think it'll just be nicer to get another hotel. Okay, this is oh, our yeah. first no, 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 attempt no, no. to get out of the hotel. We <laughs> just kind of said Museum of Yugoslavia, blah, blah. We were very cavalier about it. And the guy says, yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically got dropped off literally an hour's walk from where we needed to be before realizing that we were at a museum, a totally different museum, which doesn't open for several more hours. So now we're on our way. Hope now we're very lucky. Oh, I used the taxi oh. app to actually call a new taxi and it worked. Okay, now uh, we use this app. We got a great driver. He speaks English. He warned us, don't be a dumbass tourist on the street hailing a taxi and basically just get ripped off. And his, he, you hear him? You hear him? Okay. Here is the big learning with these apps. Now you know how all these mainland Chinese tourists are basically just filling the entire world up. This is how they're doing it with these apps, basically. That's pretty phenomenal. Camilla's up. Okay. Alec, let's ask Alec, however, about the upcoming political protests. Because we're interested in that. There's going to be a political protest. This Today is a big one, you know. Watch yourself. Where is it, though? Where is the protest? I mean, nobody's going to touch you, but it's going to be, it's going to be overcrowded. Yeah, so right, it's, yeah. right, right. We're but staying at the Hotel Yugoslavia. Is that close? No, no. no okay, no, okay, okay fine. Fine. What a check. But Evelyn, why did you want to see it? No, 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 no. Okay, no. okay, okay. We went to Attic Postscript to the taxi ride. Alec told us that the average salary of um, in Belgrade is 400 euros a month, that the prospects of new graduates is extremely dim, and that it accounts for why the net emigration from this country is enormous. Oh my god, the fucked up comedy of errors continues! The main museum is closed! We came all the way here, and it's not a small distance, only to discover that there, there are some satellite building exhibitions only. Okay, so so our first reaction is like, what the fuck? But actually, you know what? Who gives a shit? This is the occasion of our reunion after eight years, and we just think like the entire thing is just part of the sitcom of this weekend. Okay, so we have been looking for a museum to visit for 45 minutes, and I, I spotted this cafe, and I said, oh, the, the high point is probably the chance for world-class coffee in the cafe. It looks like there's hope. Here's the grounds of the Museum of Yugoslavia, <laughs> of which the old original building is not open for a while because it's being renovated. Okay. Don't stop walking, ladies. This is... These are the grounds of the Museum of Yugoslavia. I'm gonna do a whole, we've walked up this little a hill. I'll film more. This entire pavilion is dedicated to the, well, the funeral of Tito, as well as this section is about the blue train, which was the train that he took to, uh, how would you say, to promote the non-aligned movement. This is a model of it right here. It's, to be honest, it's kind of a strange museum exhibition, but just it's more interesting to see who's in the museum. For example, this giant gaggle of Chinese tourists. And also to just see the, the memorialization and um, deification pretty much of Tito. This is a reproduction of Tito's office. 
desk in there. It says original desk. And actually, I, li I, I just realized Evelyn just informed me that this is actually where this is Tito's tomb. And then he's buried here in this. He's entombed there with his wife. This is a better view of his tomb. That's his wife's tomb. Her name was Yovanka Bros. His name was actually Josip Bros. Tito. It's for Josip Bros. for the president. So this is a tradition that started right after the Second World War. So in, uh, until late 50s, they were made as birthday gifts. But then in 1957, it was decided that 25th of May wouldn't be celebrated as Tito's birthday anymore, but as the day of youth. So it becomes a holiday of youngsters. We could get completely mired in batons, but we, we must move on. We have a whole city to cover this weekend with Camilla. So, but here are just uh, some of the batons. They were a major symbol uh, associated with Tito. And there was also a, an annual relay that took place from end to end of Yugoslavia to commemorate Tito's birthday every year. So that's why there are 20,000 batons. Go, 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 walk in front of me. So, yeah. but, but that was only These are the grounds. I just wanted to film them again because it's actually very, they're, they're very attractive. And you can see the city beyond the museum and it isn't so. This is the museum, the original museum. It's presently under renovation. I just wanted to show you the architectural style of it. Okay, adding to the clusterfuckish nature of our day, we appear to have completely omitted to see the main museum, the main temporary museum, which is which houses the history of Yugoslavia pretty much. We're going to the market. Now, it's, if it was sunny, imagine the vibe. The vibe here would be completely different. It's called Kalanich Market. This is an open air food market. It closes in two hours. It's been autoclaved in a, in a safe way, yeah. but hey, but the honey looks more promising. <laughs> Okay, I just made the, I love this pimento sauce, but as I, as I just said, I'm not sure that's a sterile, a sterile canning method there. Okay, look, at, check this out. So this is like going back in time, 40 years. She's really ripping me off. She, what, are, what are you buying? What are you buying? I'm getting, but it's okay, I'm going to buy it. Just go this with one? it, go with it. She needs, she needs that. Should I ruin my appetite now or later? Probably now. Looks a bit looks a bit sticky. I'm buying this because this simply because this looks like something that we are ordinarily eating in a package, and I wanted to determine if the origin of this food stuff, this cookie, is from here. All right, we walked one foot away from the restaurant and we basically, Evelyn was like, oh my God, we gotta go to the store. It's all amazing herbal body care. And look what they're selling. They're also selling these saunas. The only good thing about me living in a house is that I could actually get one of these and you buy one is the operative word and use it or two, yeah. All right, this is very funny. Um, Camilla was saying, this is so derelict. And I said, oh, no, this could just be in the middle of London. I, I'm not really sure what she means. But anyway, there are designer stores on this street. Just to show you what downtown Belgrade looks like. This is a Tony chic district. Belgrade is one of those weird satellite city destinations that I love to visit because People treat you like a human being. It's a non-transactional place. There are pockets of fascinating culture, people, businesses everywhere you look, but you have to scratch beneath the surface of obvious tourism. And it very much does depend on who you are with, the company you're keeping when you go on a trip like this. And in this case, I'm blessed. This is a Hungarian embassy. And look across the street at this uh, weird combination of architectural styles. The whole street's like this. 
once gracious buildings in different states of disrepair and destitute. We love this. We're actually standing in the middle of the street filming that house covered with wisteria just because it feels so romantic in the middle of Belgrade. Okay, we were just at this house is I don't want to call it a house. Let's just call it derelict. This is in on the same street as an embassy. This retail store is the occasion of our bizarre little stroll down this bizarre street. Although I feel like this is probably typical. Mrs. Houston. Who's Mrs. Houston? Not sure. We're going to find out who Mrs. Houston is. It's in one of these um, interesting buildings. Yes. So this is a concept of shoppable apartment. The whole apartment you will see everything you see is for sale. Mm -hmm. I see more than uh, 90 uh, designers and artists. Mm -hmm. So you can pick the room and start and take your time and you will see, you know, everything. So furniture, pictures, sculptures, uh, Okay, we're never going to make it out of here alive. I can already tell. This is prefiguring my trip to the Batemans next week. This is a shoppable apartment, basically, and curated by Una. It's called Fab Living. I'm in Belgrade. We're already stranded in room one, and Aunt Evelyn is a complete oh sucker. I said, thank oh God, God, they're open till 8 p.m. It's 3 now. It gives us, how many hours? It gives us five hours to explore here, Evelyn. And try not to buy the entire store. Okay. Okay. All right, so what do they have? They have, they just, it's just, it's just crazy. Should Camilla buy this? Wait, I can't even, it's a ring? It's so small, so you can't see it. Yes, it's very delicate. I think this is actually the funnest room, the kitchen. They have a lot of witty, humorous kitchen accessories. I'm in love with this top with the it's jersey with this uh, leg of mutton gathered sleeve and it's so cool and Camilla and I are reminiscing about how we used to wear stuff like this but of course no longer but doesn't doesn't look, look how amazing this is it's like a pinafore it's stunning it's it's so cool yeah it's gorgeous I mean I can't breathe So we gave up on the Nikola Tesla Museum for now. They're only guided tours in this crazy, very schmancy house. Caught my eye. It's next to Fab Living. And this is just the kind of trip this is where you just turn and look at something and something unusual or extraordinary might catch your eye. Yeah, I'll try to catch it. Okay. Wait. Where? Okay. I'm flipping out over this restaurant. We just ran into here, just to get a quick glass of wine, and it's this Art Nouveau extravaganza. It's stunning. It's a crazy find. I love it. This I is really a beautiful it. and dynamic entrepreneur uh, and founder of Fab Living. Thank and this is her new biggest customer, Evelyn. <laughs> That's right. Uh, no, she is Her a life. dynamo. I gotta come back just well, to come in. And she used to be anyway. in the. Oh, yes, I should. What did you used to? You, you were like in business, right? Oh yes. Yeah, she just corporate said world. corporate world. Forget that. So Forget she decided that. to make. <laughs> so she, 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 she so she created this mecca of of design inspiration as well as support for Serbian designers and creative people, and it is an inimitable retail experience one of the best curated we've ever been to so please come and visit it was one of the high points of our entire trip for sure okay there the political demonstration is actually going on right here and we're driving we happen to be driving next to it it looks like maybe there's tear gas I'm not sure sean this is why we need to change hotels this is the hotel yugoslavia 
They shot it for 20 years to refurbish it, but it's not like I like it made any difference. This is an, e an even better view of the unremittingly Stalinesque facade of this hotel. More like a prison than a hospitality establishment protested again outside Serbia's parliament against the populist president Alexander Vucic. Authorities accused the opposition of planning the violence and deployed a heavy police presence inside we the building We drove past in this, but, and we, we were not Head in the middle of, the of it. This is our favorite condiment, and we, we actually termed it a sauce, and the waiter said, shame on you. This is not a sauce in Serbia. This is called Ivar. It's smashed, what is it? Pepper it's and Pepper tomato. and tomato. It's so delicious. Oh, it's a wonderful place. The food was superb, especially the fish. We had the... the hmm? I'm sure we're going to come back. I think we're going to come back probably. So you'll see.